ASMR for you. But in the six here, we're playing Reflection. No, I'm not wearing the same clothes twice in two days in a row. I just finished recording Ring of Pain, which will be up shortly, but this will be up after. So you're going to see me wearing the same clothes. Um, Reflection is kind of a text-based horror game. <clears throat> from what I can from what I can gather, reading the description, um, you're a college student, if I remember correctly, and you're just looking to reflect your mirror, and some things can happen, a few scary things can happen. Just a warning on this, reflection uh, contains strong languages, descriptions of gore, and murder, suicide, and drug use. This game is intended for players aged 18 or older, viewer discretion is advised, so be safe while watching this. If this top as it says here, if this topic is difficult for you, um, your mental health is deteriorating or struggling, you might not have a safe experience. If you can sit through it, you're more than welcome to. If not, that's perfectly fine. Just <clears throat> make sure you're watching your own health before you continue. There's no sound though. Back in a second. So I went fiddling and. I see what there's meant to be. I think there's meant to be. Um, there we go. Full screen. I think there's meant to be sound, but. Oh, now that's full screen. I can't see the mouse cursor. Okay. Like, I have sound working, so. Look, we'll jump into it anyway. Um, oh, full screen actually broke the game. Well, didn't break the game. It just wouldn't play on. Uh, Recording. So we're back again. And we're going to start. <clears throat> I've turned it down as well. The sweet smoke of the dying candle dances through the room, enveloping my senses. A small distraction as the dark world behind my eyes descends. Ivy. Okay. Deep breaths. Visualize. Feel the room. <clears throat> Time passes though, how much? I'm unsure. The tendrils of my memory reach out, shaping the darkness, giving it life. Ivy, <clears throat> come on, focus. I say, I say, repeating the descriptions my friends had made of me before. You're insane. Certifiably crazy. Given my head a shake, I continue. Here we go. The first rule. Give me a moment there now. No, that's a bit better. The first rule. Contemplate your decision to visit. <clears throat> well, I'm a curious person. Maybe a simple answer isn't enough. I'm studying folklore and I love the occult. Oh, that's always a bad recipe for disaster. A cult and folklore. No. Have a look at Blair Witch. Mm. No. I'm working on my masters, and yesterday I noticed just how empty my apartment is. It doesn't feel like it's mine yet. I moved from shared housing and finally have my own space. This kind of reminds me of um, the whole scene, kind of reminds me of like Doki Doki, the way it's done out and it has the <clears throat> skip auto save. I moved from shared housing and finally have my own space. I was excited at first. No roommates, no parties, no drama. Quiet life, sometimes the best life. But aside from a bed and table, I didn't bring furniture. Not even a mirror. But you have a mirror. So I walked into an okay. So I walked into an antique store when I saw an old mirror in the window and I bought it. When I tore off the paper the clerk had wrapped it in, I saw writing on the back of the frame, carved into the wood. The rules. When online searches and the school archives turned up blank, <coughs> I knew I had to play. Ouija boards, pendulums, tarot cards, I've tried them all. If it's an occult practice, I've studied it. Rituals especially. Alright, 
covered rule one. The second rule, give her permission to borrow your voice, but nothing else. I continue without hesitation. You may borrow my voice. <clears throat> There's no reply. Rule three, let go until she arrives. I loosen my grip and allow my mind to wander. This is already this is already a recipe for disaster. Just the thought of it, leaving like by the mirror. As I know, I, I antique shops are cool, but I'd be scared in case I actually buy something that's haunted. No, hair raises as my flesh screams below, <clears throat> begging me to turn back. I love this sensation. Review the rules while you wait. I recite them in the stillness of the void. Allow her to speak first. Ask if you've met before. Speak quietly. Say goodbye. Don't open your eyes. Don't accept any deals. Never break the mirror. Never visit twice. Never scream. I resist the urge to roll my eyes. These rules reek of childish plotting. Yeah, it does seem kind of like a childish thing. <coughs> you know, like um, Bloody Mary or something. <coughs> something shifts. My nails dig into the vanity, nearly cracking. The sensation of breath on my neck is familiar. The pattern unmistakably human. As the air traces my skin, I feel an echo in my bones. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> it's cold, freezing. Okay, what's okay? She's here. Oh, I don't like the way the screen's closing up there. Her presence. It's how I've imagined. <coughs> it's how I've imagined this spirit would be. Back to back with our own, felt and her oh felt and heard but unseen. Oh, Ivy. My heart shudders. I knew she'd borrow my voice, but that's weird. I clear my throat. <coughs> The rule jumps to my mind and I rush to correct myself. Have we met? Oh yes, because it's a <coughs> set of rules. Have we met? Yes. A gasp escapes me. It's not a scream. It doesn't count. I know what it's like to try to scream. How did she? But I didn't when the girls first came for me. <coughs> I ran to my father instead. He opened the door when they brought the rope. He didn't want a troublesome daughter. A girl who reeked of vanity. A sinner, a little witch. They were jealous girls. Even when I hung from the tree, my hair fell in perfect ringlets and glistened in the sunlight. Okay. <clears throat> they didn't stay to watch me die. You see, they didn't drop me from the branch. They lowered me. It was slow and boring. They hanged me from a willow on the edge of the lake. I used to admire my reflection on that river bank. But that day I swung in the breeze and watched my feet dangle above the water's edge. I saw my eyes bulge and my tongue begged to leave my throat. I wasn't pretty anymore. Just like father said, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I was trapped there even after the warmth had left my body. The pain didn't end. I wondered if that was death. If I would feel my body pull at my neck like a rotten anchor until it finally gave way and left my skull behind. I wondered if I'd be buried in, beside my mother and feel her decay next to me. The sun set and no one came. I swayed there through the night but 
When dawn broke and the morning light shone on my corpse, I slipped away. I fell into the stream and lingered there for a time. It washed away the pain, but that putrid anger remained. Oh, this is not, already not a great start. <clears throat> now I visit girls like me, the ones who watch them th themselves die slowly. My throat tightens. <clears throat> I'm not like Ivy speaking. Ivy, I'm not like you. Goosebumps trace my spine as she laughs. Oh, do you remember the bridge? Those girls were just like the ones that tied the noose. They wanted to watch a pretty girl die. And you wanted to make them smile. You thought they were your friends? My nails dug under the skin of my palm. Oh, just like digging right in. Oh, this can go one of two ways. We'll, go, we'll continue as normal. Continue as normal for now. I want out. Goodbye. You're afraid because you remember. I wasn't in the river when you jumped. Oh, I was. I, I was in the river when you jumped. Just beneath the surface, waiting with arms outstretched. Our eyes met as you plunged below. We met again shortly afterward. I glanced at you from the bottom of a bottle. You took those pills from a stranger's hand and dropped them on your tongue. You felt pretty when you did that. I watched you drown them in liquor. Now you're here, ready to die. No. What did those girls call you? Daredevil, trill seeker, junkie, suicidal? They weren't wrong. The things you did to make them laugh, to make them like you. You knew what it would, you knew what it could cost, and every time you survived that plunge, you climbed higher. Always searching for happiness in others when you can't scratch the surface of your own. You're a parasite. I shake my head. She's like, no, I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. I've been watching. Every risk, that jump, those pills, summoning her. I did it willingly. I liked it. You just need to bring the rope. Trust me, you'll love the feeling. It's better than every brush with debt. Give me your hands. I'll do it for you. The rules. Give her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared. It's fast. Like cliff jumping. Give me your eyes. No. Maybe I was wrong. You're not ready. But I want you to stay. Ooh. The sweet crash of glass shatters my focus. My hand trembles as I reach out, refusing to open my eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains intact. As I lower my hand, I feel it. <clears throat> A braided necklace tightening. So pretty. I have a gift for you. Let me get the clasp. P please, I... I won't visit again. The noose tears into my soft flesh with a burning touch. I can't breathe. I'm going to die. Oh, sweet Ivy. I promise you will. I know you. The next time you'll visit, you'll give me your hands willingly. We'll jump together. But for now, <clears throat> goodbye. The rope slips away. The music kind of reminds me of, um, <clears throat> The name Dragon Tail. The music kind of seems like Dragon's Tail. She's gone. 
Goodbye. So is that one ending? Okay, so that was... Okay, so that was one ending. <clears throat> so we're going to continue... Oh, I can't. What? Okay, so do I have to... Do I have to quit out the game? Oh, yes. Yeah, see, look, it's different. She's, like, kind of... She's standing up. Sorry, it was my last one. She was kind of holding... Kind of by her stomach. Okay, so we'll skip all this. Skip. I think all this is basically the same. She's here, her presence. Yeah, we're kind of... Now, here's where we get to the change, so we'll get to fuck you. It was a dare. I feel her razor sharp smile grow. You're afraid because you remember. I was in the river when you jumped, just beneath the surface, waiting with arms outstretched. Okay, this is all kind of the same. Our eyes met as you plunged below. We met again shortly afterwards. I glanced at you from the bottom of a bottle. I'm going to go through this part now in case anything is different. You took those pills from a stranger's hand and dropped them on your tongue. <clears throat> you felt pretty when you did that. I watched you drown them in liquor. Now you're here, ready to die. No. What did those girls call you? Daredevil, thrill seeker, junkie, suicidal? They weren't wrong things you did to make them laugh to make them like you so that's the problem like a lot of people <clears throat> try to try so hard to be friends with people so they'll do whatever they want or whatever they can to make them like them and they uh, end up risking their lives sometimes to actually get someone to like which is kind of sad really if someone doesn't want to be your friend just push them aside you don't need them you don't need all that negative stuff just if you have people keep those people they like you you knew what it could cost and every time you survive that plunge, you climbed higher. Always search for happiness in others when you can't scratch the surface of your own. You're a parasite. Shake my head. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. I've been watching. <clears throat> every risk. That jump. Those pills. Summoning her. I did it willingly. I liked it. You just need to bring the rope. Trust me. You love the feeling. It's better than every brush with debt. Give me your hands. I'll do it for you. The rules. Give her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared. It's fast. Like cliff jumping. <clears throat> give me your eyes. So I wish I could give her my eyes at this part. No. I feel like it's all going to be the same. I feel like it is. No. Maybe I was wrong. You're not ready. But. I want you to stay. Yes, I think it's the exact same. Sweet crash of glass shatters my focus. My hand trembles as I reach out, refusing to open my eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains intact. As I lower my hands, I feel it. A braided necklace, tightening. So pretty. I have a gift for you. Let me get the clasp. Please, I, I won't visit again. The news tears of a soft flesh burn in touch and I can't breathe. I'm going to die. <clears throat> oh sweet Ivy. <clears throat> I promise you will. I know you. The next time you visit you'll give me your hands willingly. We'll jump together. But for now. Goodbye. The rope slips away. She's gone. What do I save here? Okay. Save it. Goodbye. So I know I saved right at the end, but... <clears throat> yeah.
Okay, so again, the same kind of position. I can't. Okay. So, the developer must be working on some more kind of... See, oh, the arm change, I didn't realise that. About, yeah, the arm changes. Free software number licensing. Okay. Cool. So that was Reflection. Um, very short game. I, I didn't think it was going to be that short. I thought it was going to be a few little scenes, but it's a lot like Doki Doki. Um, and with the renditions of the voicing and the skipping, what you've done. Uh, the music is nice. Music is, very, I think, it's very eerie. Um, I'm presuming we're going to learn more about Ivy and who the mirror is. Hopefully, we, in the next one, we can maybe get her name. I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'll include the link in the description. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on this game and hopefully, if it comes out with another one, I'll play it again. But again, obliterate that like button. Just hit that like button as hard as you can. And if you don't, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'll understand you soon. It won't be long. Keep on, keep on, keep on.